even if you don't know opera, you know Carmen. Think of Carmen as being a Broadway musical that has survived for 150 years. You have to ask yourself why. It must be really good. It's a very empowering role. To get up on stage and have all these men fawn all over you, it's, you don't get that every day at the supermarket. <laughs> Sandra Pixetti is honored to be a part of one of the last shows to grace the historic stage at the Lyric Theater. Most people simply refer to the building as the Lyric, and they refer to the organization as the Lyric. And that's all right, because this really, for 40 years, has been home. But before the Lyric came to the Lyric, the company founded in 1958 performed operas in a much smaller theater, then in English. We were really one of the, the trailblazers. Since then, show after show has solidified opera's place in Kansas City for all audiences. But before the final curtain drops on this stage, we're showing you what most never get to see. Uh, this way leads to backstage. Where cast and crew scamper silently to make the magic on stage look effortless and real. On the other side, it looks like a substantial wall, right. but it's really not Quite as substantial as you might think, and we don't want it to be too heavy. These massive boulders are, you know, really just... Also, the audience and performers can stay in the moment. <laughs> Opera has no microphones, just powerful voices, carefully keeping with the conductor and orchestra. Now protected by a net after a close call during a Carmen performance years ago. She picked up a sword, and it went lying into the pit and we thought oh my god and outside the theater doors the history continues can you imagine this was a masonic temple and then it, it became a movie house but one treasure in this building is a reminder of opera's opulence of old we're going into the ingram room the lavish space is reserved for a select group before and during performances named for bob and beth ingram two of the many people that help keep the opera alive with generous contributions Ticket sales alone only cover half the cost. Without that level of generosity, I'd have to charge so much money for tickets, nobody would be able to afford to come to the opera. Soon the Lyric Opera will move to the impressive Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. So this season's shows are a farewell to the Lyric. And it's bittersweet, but it's the next right step. I think it's going to be transformation. That's why we're proud to call it home. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News.